I mentioned earlier Airbnb raising $1 billion in funds. Of course, they were one of those companies that were looking at the flexibility of direct listings. What happens to this now that the market is so uncertain? Are direct listings even a possibility at this point? Regarding direct listings, we've been a skeptic of that approach um, even before this crisis. But we think that even now... Uh, companies will take a more tried and true method of going public, which would be through an underwritten IPO. I mean, the direct listings, the issue there is that they're meant to get the highest price and have most people, insiders, be able to sell without a lockup. That really doesn't work for investors. And what's going to happen in this new IPO market is investors are clearly going to be in the driver's seat when it comes to how they'll participate and at what price. So, I would think the direct listing might be off the table for a while. And Kathleen, how much is this to do also with different regions? Because we have seen first quarter listings in Europe, for example, slumping the most since 2009. And yet in China, some local companies might be considering domestic listings. We have heard from JD.com that perhaps an IPO in Hong Kong could be a value for them. Of course, we have already seen Alibaba do the same. We see this recovery in the IPO market, not just in the U.S., but globally, and would expect to see Hong Kong become more active again and London as the investors become more comfortable with uh, risk-taking. We manage the Renaissance International IPO ETF that has had very strong performance relative to the uh, Acqui XUS, and so the existing set of already traded IPOs as represented by that ETF have done well. So we're thinking that the global IPO markets will open up in a similar fashion as the U.S. IPO market.